Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 20th of 2022. Well, it is titled Aurora over White Dome Geyser. So what do we see here? Well, this is the White Dome Geyser in Yellowstone National Park. And we can see it erupting. Now Yellowstone is a very hot area within Earth, and does have a lot of geysers like this where material heated up from below will then be erupted out into the atmosphere. Now this is not unique to Earth. Some things like this can also happen on other planets. And we see this on uh, some of the moons in the outer solar system where instead of hot steam, it is icy material uh, that is erupted out of the geysers. So they get some kind of volcanic eruption there. That's something somewhat similar to what we're seeing here. Here the water is heated by the very hot rock down kilometers below the surface and then rises up through the crust until it finds that weak spot which is we know as the geyser. And Yellowstone is known to about half of those known on Earth. Now if we look up above we see this in the sky we see the aurora the red and green color that are associated with generally oxygen atoms. So oxygen atoms very high in the Earth's atmosphere. This is not the oxygen molecules that we breathe which are two oxygen atoms bound together. But up in the very high parts of the atmosphere we can have individual oxygen atoms that can give off a distinct green or red glow depending on their exact positioning. So we can see those and those are caused by uh, not just our atmosphere but by charged particles from our sun. And as those travel to Earth, they follow along Earth's magnetic field and will strike Earth the Earth's atmosphere where those magnetic field lines come into the atmosphere. So we tend to see the aurora close to the magnetic poles. Now the North Magnetic Pole is currently in northern Canada and it does move very slightly over time. And we will see things generally around that. So we tend to see the aurora in relatively northerly latitudes. However, the when you get intense storms, we can actually see aurora further south. As we do here, we're seeing a down towards Yellowstone, so not super far south, still in the northern part of the United States, but further south than we typically look at Aurora, which is Scandinavia, Canada, and um, like Alaska, so various different very far northern areas. So when we get those storms, and as we get more storms now, as the sun moves from minimum a few years ago into a maximum of its solar activity a few years from now we should see more and more aurora and with more storms we will be able to see them at lower latitudes not confined just to the locations around the north magnetic pole. So that was our picture of the day for February 20th of 2022. It was titled Aurora over White Dome Geyser. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be barred spiral. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.